Yo, what is going on my people? I hope you guys are keeping well. So, in today's video, we're going to be speaking once again about my order flow scalping strategy. And look, it's actually working better than ever recently. The team's absolutely killing it. Um, so guys, pretty much everything that you need to know is on my channel. I've been providing this education, pretty much the whole strategy, completely for free on, um, on my YouTube, on my Instagram, on my Telegram group group which you have if you haven't already make sure to join that because that group is completely popping off at the moment so make sure you join it the link is down in the description for free and you know we've been killing it so if you haven't already make sure you go watch all of my order flow videos just binge watch every single one of them and watch this too before you go on to the other ones and uh, yeah before we get started make sure you drop a like subscribe for more of these videos and let's get straight into it so guys on friday if you remember i was streaming on friday as i said i've been i'm going to be streaming every single day for the next month um so make sure you're there as well at 1 uh 1 p.m london time so this is for new york open and essentially we were looking at this gpsd trade now overall we were taking a look at the daily time frame on gpsd and we established that the market structure is bearish and the market is looking very very good for sales for quite a while now so this is really really nice opportunities for us in the market um in the upcoming weeks so essentially we were taking a look at two points of interest there was this point of interest and there was uh, this point of interest right here and we went and avoided we avoided this institutional candle because the order flow was just not there like it was telling me that i wasn't ready for so so we avoided this one i'm on live and we were taking a look at this one so it was uh, around news time as well so this was essentially a really really good trade to get into i would have given you a decent uh decent r here some people could have just gotten in straight away from the smc right here and put the stop loss right at the close or some people could have waited for some order flow confirmation which if you want to really increase your win rate increase the high probability of your trades then you want to add order flow at 100 percent to your strategy now one thing that i look for one of the models i look for is inner liquidity okay so i like to see inner liquidity usually being cleared um before taking a trade this essentially act is an inducement to acts as sponsorship liquidity for uh, my move down so this is what i want to see and this was my inner liquidity this was a great setup now what i do as we tap into my point of interest okay so i'm going I mark out this whole zone right here as we tap into my point of interest i drop down to the one minute time frame so as we go down to my one minute time frame i simply look for a change of character guys and this is the beautiful thing about what i do it's very very duplicatable it's repeatable and it's easy to spot very 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 easy so i, I wait for the one minute time frame and i mark out the highest point so essentially this is my highest point and the low that created this high is going to be the area where i should be looking for a change of character so this is how i simplify my changes of character simply mark out the highest point and then the low that created this highest point this is where i look to mark out my change of character so after this i wait for a simple break as you can see i got the break right here and then i look to retest this low and essentially this is the zone this is the area where i look to short okay this is where i look to short my trade what i do then guys is very very simple i want to look at the price action here and i want to take a look at the price action here and see if the sellers are actually indeed strong enough in order for me to sell from here or not because sometimes you will just get you know pending contracts just triggered from that point of interest up here and it will cause some sort of reaction some sudden move where a lot of people will think oh now it's time to sell but it actually isn't and it ends up just continuing to the upside so this is what happens um a lot of the time and this is what this chart helps me do so if for any of you that haven't um for any of you that haven't traded um or seen my videos before and um, when it comes to order flow this is the order flow footprints and essentially this is a chart that gives me a lot of insight and detail into what is going on to the market it gives me information into the executed contracts on the bid and ask side so essentially i can see the strength of the buyers and sellers within candles and within trading ranges extremely extremely powerful and it takes your trading that extra level it takes it to that next step so if we take a look this is the five minute time frame and this is where we tapped into my zone okay so right here would have been my point of interest and this is the high that the high right here and this would be the low where i would have waited for a break of um where i would have waited for a change of character so this is that low right here okay so now what do i do I simply want to take a look 
at the delta and most of my analysis is is happening right here at the delta this is called delta analysis and the delta is the net difference between the buyers and sellers so a lot of the time right you look at a candle and you're like this candle has a lot of volume but the volume doesn't necessarily mean anything think of it this way you have an army of 5000 people and another army of 5000 thousand people it's a very very big war but one army is probably like the, the win of one army over the other is probably not going to be that huge whereas if you have an army of only like 200 people and an army of 10 people even though these armies are both very very small one army is going to completely annihilate the other army because one side is much much bigger and it's not about the amount there is it's about percentage wise how much bigger one side is over the other so this is the analogy that i love to use and i feel like it really really describes the delta very very well so when we take a look at the delta right here even if you don't take a look at the numbers we see this consolidation and a lot of time this consolidation is going to indicate that there's going to be a large amount of orders one way or the other and the delta helps us see here here that in this consolidation there's very 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 few buyers very few buyers look at the, the max delta it's all really numbers under about 50 25 something like that and we take a look at the min delta and look 207 209 74 0 70 minus 18 minus 120 etc and you take a look massive 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 numbers guys and we even take a look at this big move that broke that low that's 524 50 and minus 587 coupled with the fact that we have multiple selling imbalances look multiple selling imbalances multiple selling imbalances multiple selling imbalances and multiple times failure to break this high so this is a very very good usual reversal sign and we get that guys once we get this a very very big important thing that i want to take a look at is as we approach and as we pull back so this is how you determine if this is simply just a pullback or actually continuing the trend up if the buy-in if the max delta right here suddenly becomes much 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 stronger than the deltas right here the selling right here in the min delta then this is probably a continuation of the trend and not a pullback okay because a lot of the time when we're taking a look at the delta i don't want to just take a look at a singular candle i'm looking at it at an accumulation of candles i'm looking at ranges i'm looking at this train range in comparison to this train range and this train range to the downside okay the delta of all of this move is much much stronger than the, the accumulation of the delta of this move and this means that this is a really, really good time to, to, to short now because the buyers are not stronger than sellers right here. Yes, the buyers stepped in a little and that's expected because it's a pullback. You need the buyers to step in for a pullback to raise the prices higher. Um, but they weren't strong enough to actually break this high. And that's what you want to look for. And as price came back, retested that, that low right here. And as you go, boom, we, we short from here. Now, how do I short? Now, I go back to my uh, um, thing right here. Uh, sorry, I go back to my trade view chart. I short right here. At the retest and my stop just above this high and where do i target where do i like everything else is a simple smc okay i will target liquidity or i can use the order flow um i can use the order flow to determine my exits and if you guys just comment down in the description down below if you want me to make a video on how to use order flow to um uh how to use order flow to determine exits then um i'll make another video on that as well so, so essentially guys this is a scenario number one setup if you take a look at it right here look remove everything this is number one so that was the entry this was the sl and my target would be this low okay so your target could be this low or your target if you really want to make sure here's a very very quick tip another tip that i'm going to give you for free um right here if you just take this go to this high target the 78.6 88.6 or 71 as a take profit this will usually get hit most of the time most of the time these levels will get hit so this is very good usual tp levels and that's pretty much it guys absolutely beautiful trade okay so a lot of you have also been dming me about the software people want to get access to the software the link for the software is down in the description down below it costs 399 euro i know in past videos it might have costed at 350 but this is for the program etc i'm doing everything completely different now i'm pretty much providing you guys with the um with all of the education for free on youtube etc but all you need to do is just get the software i don't mind where you get the software but if you want to get it from us it's 399 also my order flux uh, course is included with that completely for free so it's there um and it covers everything that we cover on youtube but in much much more quicker and compact and i guess more better explained way and um so if you want to get access to that 399 one-time payment you no monthly subscriptions none of that you get access to all of the updates that come out and everything and yeah guys that is pretty much it i appreciate every single one of you for watching the video all the way through to the end make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video have a good one bye, -bye.